Well, as temperatures continue to drop and that ice covers the road, it is best to just go ahead and get comfortable at home. Our Mariah Gallegos has some things to keep in mind even there. While it's now a little too late to do those outdoor preparations ahead of this storm, there are still a few things you can do from the comfort of your home. I have here my checklist that we can check off together. First, keep open the cabinet doors under your sinks. This allows for the warmer air inside of your home to circulate to the pipes that are underneath. Second, if you can, turn your thermostat down two to three degrees. This will help by not overrunning your electricity. Three, try to limit your use of large appliances. This includes washers and dryers and your dishwasher. Fourth, keep your blinds closed overnight. This helps to keep the heat inside. Fifth, allow at least one of the water faucets to drip over the next 24 hours. This helps prevent the pipes from freezing. And lastly, if you have a plug-in uh, heater, don't put it by anything that could catch fire. You want to make sure that you keep a clear area around any heating element that's there. Now, aside from the traffic calls that first responders are preparing for, they say this is also a time when they see structural fires because of those heaters. So they're asking everyone to use those with caution and stay safe. Mariah Gallegos, 3 News.